Uh, I thought I'd better make a video quick before I forget about it. Uh, the Rebel's outside. The Rebel speedometer is working now. Working fine. Uh, Brennett, I believe, Brennett Honda Parts out of uh, Michigan. I would not, and I am not, ever going to deal with them again. First of all, they sent me a huge part that there's no way you could put it into a small little rebel and it was just all solid steel great big gear thing well all I have mine is is little nylon bushing with teeth on it so it took me forever to convince them what I needed and stuff I finally ended up buying the new one uh, and then they never even refund the money from that other one even though I sent it back they didn't care well, you sent it back, we're going to have a uh, shelf, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, whatever. So I finally got it, got it put in, and it's working fine now. But I will not deal with them again. I'll go somewhere else first. So, just thought I'd tell you that before I forgot about it. Key's on his way down, and... We're going to start clearing out the garage, and that does not look or sound fun at all. I mean, because you wouldn't believe the junk that's in the garage. I can take you out here and show it to you. You know, I got a pile of wood and stuff. Of course, that's the old outhouse there. But I got another pile out there started. We're going to start burning some of this stuff so it don't look so messy. But uh, I don't know if you can see once I step into the dark or not. Uh, I took the door off the trailer to get the, the little rebel out. Now if Keith puts his bike in the trailer, he'll have to take saddlebags off and all that stuff. Move the mirrors. But I'm thinking as long as we haven't sold the lot yet, just leave it in here. Let's just get everything out that we got to have out. And, uh, I don't know. It's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt. But, you know, hey, whatever. Now, Keith told me, he said, we got a whole lot of junk up upstairs here. Uh, there's a crack up there, so at least you see the ceiling. Yeah, I see the crack up at the top of the ceiling. <laughs> But he says up there is just full of stuff. But what I'm going to do is tell him, you know, we're going to go through it. If you don't want it or whatever, let's just get rid of it. Burn it. Get rid of it. You know, whatever. It's like that bike he has all tore off. Or he took the wheels and stuff off for some reason. I don't know. Oh, to lower his bike because it sat high. And, oh, he must have took his bike home. I don't see it in here. But uh, there's the wheels off his old bike. They were evidently a lot bigger than the ones on that one. And he said it lowered it about two inches and it is better for him. But uh, yeah, we had the, the big ladder there. I'll have to get it back home where it belongs. Step ladder over there, get it back home. I mean, I got so much junk. I hate to, actually hate to get rid of the lot, but If I don't, I'm not getting any money to my older brother. Now I want to try to get him paid up. So I have just thought the only way I'm going to be able to do it is to sell a lot. And we'll probably end up giving him a uh, third instead of, of what the place all together was worth. Whenever I get out of this lot, I figure this lot over here is worth the same. So, whenever I get out of that lot, we're going to give him two-thirds of whatever it is. And that will also be the third for this lot over here, if we ever sell it. So, we'll see what happens. That's my video starting now. I'll see what else I do later, maybe. I don't know. So, you all have a great day, and catch you later.